Okay, this is a basic MIDI setup for the Motif 8 and getting it to run locally or via the MIDI program you're going to be running it on. This is what it looks like when you start it up. You move it over to the right, look over to the right underneath the wheel, you'll see the, uh, the utility file button. Click on the utility button so that we can set up the utility menu to run the USB means of connecting to the computer. So press the utility button and we'll look at the LED screen and then we'll see this menu come up. And notice that you'll have menus across the top and menus across the bottom there. The top menus are uh, accessed via the SF buttons just below my finger there and the bottom menus are accessed via the F1 buttons on the bottom. So you play around with those for a bit and you'll get it, an understanding as to how each of the SF buttons access each of those various menus. When you go to the MIDI one, when you see where it says F5, it says MIDI in and out on the top and it's by default uh, it's set to MIDI. So you want to change the default. So you, you need to change the default MIDI that's set when you turn on the keyboard to USB so it can communicate with Cubase in the computer. So we change that MIDI in and out to USB by turning the wheel or one of the incremental buttons on the right underneath the wheel, which is the DEC slash no or the INC slash yes buttons. And that will take us to the USB, which is what we need to have on when we're talking to the computer and to send me, uh, messages, MIDI uh, data to the computer. You need to have local control set to off to communicate MIDI data to the computer when you're in mixing mode. If you want to play live, you have local control set to on. So writing MIDI stuff to the computer has to be off, working locally, jamming, have it in the on position. So notice that the local control and the utilities menu that you come across when you go through the menus, they're using the SF and the F1 through 5 or 6 buttons. So local control is used to be on when you're playing live and you want to talk directly to the performance patches. So let's go over here and use one of these arrow switches to get to the local control on and off button highlighted and then we switch to turning it off in order to work with Cubase because what activates each MIDI track assigned to an, a Cubase track that has corresponding MIDI track to work it has to be turned on and for the sound back on the various performances that are associated with that MIDI channel and we'll get to the uh, performance uh, menu shortly here in terms of assigning various performances to each uh, each MIDI track. So we exit out of the screen, hit the exit button underneath the wheel, and we come back to the original screen, basic performance screen. Now we have to get out of this performance screen and to get over to the actual mixing song mode that will allow us to start setting the parameters for each of the various uh, voices used on each MIDI track. So <clears throat> to the right there, back over there, you'll notice here song underneath the voice in the master modes. You can't just hit mixing. You have to hit song or, or, or performance or voice um, in order for song and then mixing to be accessible, to be turned on, as I'll turn it on right here. There it goes. Mixing mode has to be turned on in order to look at the various 16 MIDI tracks and the voices assigned to each of those 16 tracks, which is in this window. This window defaults opening by having the volume and the panning settings visible. Notice the sub menus along the bottom. You see the volume pan, voice. We want to use the voice to assign 
uh, different types of instruments to each of the 1 through 16 MIDI channels. MIDI, the MIDI channels uh, represented uh, by the part menu. Notice at the top of this menu. So volumes are normally I just do use set and cue base. So we'll go over here to the voice by hitting one of the um, SF buttons that correspond just below. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean F2. F2 is used to open the voice menus. Now by default, you see voice number, number 105, and that's the current voice. Now the other things to the right in terms of uh, uh, affecting sounding effects and things affecting each of the different types of voices when it's in MIDI mode, when it's in mixing mode. Don't worry about that. We'll get back to this stuff some other time. I don't use it. I uh, usually take care of that stuff in post-production in Cubase.